In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to tie a loop knot, also control the size of the loop on the end of your fly. First thing we're going to do is just take our tippet here, thread it through the fly, and leave yourself a nice long tag end there to work with. We're going to take the standing line here, just make a loop. You can see that loop formed right side up. I actually want to take it and turn it upside down. Uh, if you do it the other way here, right side up, when we go to wrap our line, you'll be wrapping just around this loop. That is not what we want. The knot will not work. So we need to turn it upside down. That way we wrap both around the standing line and the loop. I just take the tag end and I use my little crab fingers back there to just grab the tag end with each turn. I just go through it three times. And there is our loop. Now, to cinch the loop down, there's a little trick. Basically take the fly, let it loose, and we're just going to pinch right before the loop. I'm not pinching the loop. I'm pinching essentially the standing line and the tag in at the same time. I'm just going to pull on those. And that's just going to snug everything down together here. So everything's getting smaller. And once I get to the desired size, I can just let go. I'm going to pull on the standing line here. And this is going to just let that knot bite and seat together. You could probably wet it at that point too. And you'll know you did the loop right when you get a nice right angle there with the tag end. Essentially that is a finished loop knot and you can see I got it nice and small. That's the hard part with most of the, the loop knots. Most guys when they tie them usually end up about that big instead of nice and small. And that way your fly can just dangle there as you strip it back and get nice movement. Now I'll go ahead and do it here with my larger hook and some fly line for all those I had a hard time seeing what I was doing. So again, just take the tag end, thread it through, make a loop. It's right side up, so we need to turn it upside down and go through that loop. One, two, three times. So you end up with that. And I'm just going to pinch right here. Now this is not going to work very well because this is not monofilament. This is fly line, so it's not really going to cinch up very good. So I'll just kind of try to do this carefully. If I let go, pull on it, you'll get that nice right angle. Of course, the loop there is pretty big because this is some fly line. It doesn't really work the same way as mono but hopefully that helped you figure out how to make a better loop.